holiday rush and I'm feeling so sick. Our flight has been rescheduled. We were supposed to leave at 7.30 but it's been pushed back to 9.10. I am gonna pick up a couple of medicines and onwards to Jaipur. Trip to Jaipur started on a very chaotic note. I was in Delhi for some work for a few days and I had gotten sick there and I decided to journey on towards Jaipur in that condition and on top of that my flight was delayed by at least 7-8 hours but I am not one to get phased by all of that. Give ourselves a grand start to the day at a local favorite, Rawat Mishtan Bhandar. We caught a horrible cold, but we are at Rawat Mishtan Bhandar. And we've ordered our kachoris for breakfast. We've ordered the dal kachori, piaz kachori, and mawa kachori. Along with that, we've ordered a malai kauri, which is a dessert that I saw that looked very interesting. And I asked them about it, and they were like, Bengali mithai. I am from Bengal. I have never seen Malai Gauri in Bengal. And also in a big, large kadhai, they were making dood with a bit of saffron. So I ordered one cup of that as well. And my mom really wanted to have gajar halwa. So she's ordered some gajar ka halwa. Received two of our three kachoris. Got the kadhai wala dood. The mawa kachori. First thing my mom wants to have is the gajar ka halwa. Very good. Let's start with the dal kachori. The kachoris here are so flaky. It's like having puff pastry. Piaz kachori has aloo also along with piaz. Very interesting. But you know what would be the best for nursing a cold? This hot dude. This is so good and there's a nice thick layer of malai on it. Perfect for a winter morning. Our kachoris here are highly dated. They are doused in sugar syrup and have a really nice filling of uh, mawa along with some spices. Time for the mawa kachori. It's dripping in chutney. Before heading out, we had our malai gauri which was very mildly sweetened and I personally loved it. Breakfast, now we are heading for sightseeing. So first off, Hawa Mahal. Welcome, madam. On the way to Hawa Mahal, it's a market complex. I think it's a small shopping area. This is the Hawa Mahal. 1799, Hawa Mahal was constructed under the Kachawa Rajput ruler Maharaja Sawai Pratap Singh and designed by Lal Chand Ustad for the royal women. This palace was built because the women could not go outside but they wanted a way to preserve their modesty while also enjoying the processions held outside. See, those are the two cafes that people flock to take pictures with. Uh, the Hawa Mahal as facade. So done with all of the photo sessions in front of Hawa Mahal. So when you're coming here, know that some people will come and approach you to be your photographer. They'll say per photo like 30 or 40 bucks. And then they'll be like, okay, I'll take only one picture. You pay me just 40 bucks. And if you don't like the picture, you don't have to pay me. But they'll, they'll take two, three pictures at one go and then they'll be like, okay, madam, no picture ho gaya, teen picture ho gaya. So you'll have to pay them accordingly. So this guy, since I'm traveling with my mom, she doesn't really take nice pictures of me. So I was like, okay, let, let me give it a shot. This guy took two pictures and he took the worst, most ugliest pictures of me. And he took 80 bucks. So be careful about this scam. After Hawa Mahal, we decided to head to Bapu Bazaar for a quick shopping spree. And the best part about Jaipur has to be its transportation. We had no issues ever finding auto rickshaws or those battery operated rickshaws. Jaipur is pretty famous for its markets and Bapu Bazaar is one such famous market area. Bapu Bazaar now, I think this is the most famous shopping area. Just taking a stroll here, probably pick up a thing or two. You will find a lot of beautiful juttis and bags and kurtis in Bapu Bazaar. Everyone had asked me that you have to haggle and bargain a lot while you shop there. Otherwise, the shopkeepers will take you for a ride. These hills are so nice. 
Out of all the places, Albert Hall Museum was my favorite in Jaipur. This place is also known as Central Museum and the building was designed by Samuel Swinton Jacob, assisted by Mir Tajumul Hussain. This was opened as a public museum in 1887. But Albert Hall Museum now is also known as Central Museum Jaipur. The architecture, the design and even the collection of artifacts at Albert Hall is absolutely stunning. And even if you don't have the time to go anywhere else, I would highly suggest that you visit Albert Hall, especially if you're someone who is inquisitive about art or if you just like looking at um, different types of artifacts from different dynasties and different parts of the world. This is Albert Hall now Central Museum and they have artifacts, jewelry, sculptures, paintings, um, even pottery from many dynasties not just from india but across the world so that was pretty amazing and fascinating to look at that was if you're a history and culture buff i think you would love this place cafe auberge is located inside the house of pinder which is a very tastefully decorated homestay came to this lovely cafe it's called cafe auberge they have this outdoor seating on their patio we've ordered their keema bati with shorba and i'm dying to dig in they took a long time to prepare this which means that i'm hoping that it's gonna be good and also because it's i guess it's a little complicated so they took a bit of time to prepare this we also had our cup of hot coffee like they make hand beaten coffee so so nice like very mildly sweetened and it tasted really good. I usually don't like hand beaten coffee everywhere. They even have a home furnishing studio called Mira right adjacent to the cafe where if you are someone who likes to uh, collect a lot of uh, beautiful artifacts for your home, even drugs, bed sheets, etc. You can check this place out and also they have a lot of paintings and photographs. All of them are so beautiful. I would highly recommend checking this place out if you are in Jaipur. I don't know if it is chicken or mutton. This is the bati with a bit of keema inside. The shorba tastes amazing. I mean, if you're not used to having bati, you might find it a little bit hard, but it tastes good. I'm loving the shorba, it's so spicy and yum. After lunch, we headed back to our hotel for a quick nap and then it was evening and obviously we didn't want to waste our time indoors. So we headed out for a nice Rajasthani dinner. Out for dinner to this restaurant called Nataraj, which restaurant and sweets. But this area has some more like famous food spots. Behind me you see Jalvahel that is quite famous for their ice creams and bang opposite is Srinath Lassiwala which is also quite famous if i wasn't nursing this horrible cold i would have probably tried both thank you sweets parwal mithai this is but this looks so good At Natraj, we have ordered the season special thali, and uh, both of us we don't really like gatta so much. So, gatta is basically besan dumplings that's made into a sabzi or curry form. So, we've ordered mixed veg instead of gatti ki curry in our thali. But if you want the authentic Rajasthani experience, then maybe you should try the gatti ki curry. Um, so yeah, but I really like the service here. This is the second place where the service is really nice. So Cafe Auberge had really good service. They were very pleasant. Even this place, the servers and everyone, they are very pleasant. This is Mirch Ki Chutney. Mirch Ki Chutney is Your expression doesn't justify your head nodding. You didn't like it. Not bad. 
we've got this huge thali the season special this is something that i don't know churma another type of churma i think bundi raita papad they have besan ka roti there's jeera rice dal mixed veg i don't know what this is is it malai kofta possibly let me inspect I don't know what this is. It's just something. Possible to break the bati. This dal looks amazing. I want to try the besan roti. What on earth is this? I've never had it in my life before. Let's try this with this. This tastes amazing with this mirch ki chutney. My favorite was the churma. The churma tastes like crumbled sole papdi. Also, my mom discovered that the one that I was calling malai kofta was actually curry. Thank you. You get nice hot coffee here in a lot of shops. Well, this is an ice cream place, but. If you want, you can also have coffee. They have made it so nice and frothy. It was really good at Natraj, but the only issue was both of us, my mom and I, we found air in our food, so that was the only issue we had. But otherwise, the food was really nice. So now we are waiting for our auto. We're gonna head back, get a good night's sleep. Post dinner, we went back to a hotel and called it a night. We had a lot of adventures lined up for the next day. And honestly, I should have made it into one single vlog, but I realized it would be a very lengthy vlog for you guys to watch. So stay tuned for part two, where I'll be back with more fun things to do in Jaipur. As of now, bye. And you know the drill. Do not forget to hit subscribe, smash on the like button and tap on the bell button to be notified each time I post a video. Bye.